A recent study has found that genetic tests which predict the efficacy of certain cancer treatments have some racial limitations. The study found that these tests are not as effective in providing results for those of African or Asian descent. These genetic tests essentially measure the number of genetic mutations in solid tumors. It is also termed as tumor mutational burden or TMB. If an individual has a tumor with 10 or more mutations, they can be termed as someone with high TMB. Normally, immune checkpoint inhibitors, which are a certain kind of drug, work by turning the immune system against these cancerous tumors. These drugs have proven to be fairly effective in those with high TMB, but don't really work as well in those with lesser mutations. Amin Nassar at Yale University in Connecticut carried out a study along with his colleagues by collecting data from over 3,000 people from the National Cancer Institute's Cancer Genome Atlas program, who had cancers that could be treated with immune checkpoint inhibitors. In order to measure this mutational burden, or TMB, genetic analysis known as tumor normal sequencing is carried out for the tumor and regular tissue samples. What this method primarily does is that it does not count mutations which people inherit from their parents as actual mutations. This method avoids any kind of overestimation. There are many advantages to this method. It is extremely time-saving and cost-effective. But the primary limitation is this. A vast majority of information in these genetic databases is from those of European descent. Researchers from Yale confirmed that 528 people from the sample were not of European descent. By conducting tumor-only and tumor-normal sequencing to estimate TMB, researchers found that on average, the tumor-only method doubled the number of mutations found in those of non-European ancestry as compared with tumor-normal sequencing. And for those with European ancestry, Tumor-only sequencing increased the number of mutations by one and a half times. With this data, the researchers also developed a formula to recalibrate tumor-only sequencing results which account for ancestry, cancer type and TMB overestimates. Then this formula was tested on 456 patients who had already undergone both tumor-only and tumor-normal sequencing. They found that it reduced overestimations of mutations in tumor-only sequencing results. When tests were carried out on 2,800 people treated for cancer in Boston, the formula found that about 43% of those with African ancestry, 37% of those with Asian ancestry, and 21% of those with European ancestry had been misclassified by tumor-only sequencing as having high TMB. The problem here is that the misclassification makes it more likely to give Asians and Blacks immune checkpoint inhibitors. This can cause extremely serious side effects such as diabetes and even trouble breathing. When the researchers looked at a separate group of over 800 people being treated for small cell lung cancer, 758 of those were Europeans, 64 were of African ancestry and 57 were Asians. Amin Nassar says that in white populations, high TMB correlates with better outcome after treatment with checkpoint inhibitors. But that may not be true for Asians and Blacks. The researchers found that people of non-European descent who had high TMB scores had lower survival rates after treatment with checkpoint inhibitors than those with low TMB scores. In Blacks, survival rates were 26 and 31% for high and low scores respectively. For people with Asian ancestry, it was 12 and 29%. This is not the first time though that racial biases have been noticed in healthcare. It is commonly known that racial and ethnic minorities receive lower quality healthcare as compared to their white counterparts. Moreover, an earlier study has also shown that in US hospitals, an algorithm for allocating healthcare to patients was less likely to refer to blacks than whites who were equally sick. For the print, this is Gaurvi Narang. For more, log on to theprint.in and follow us on our social media handles.